Okay, so we're going to have a look at two-point perspective drawing and we're going to draw a house today. So the first thing you need to do is give yourself a horizon line and this needs to run horizontal across your page. Draw this faintly with a pencil. And then now you need to mark two vanishing points with an X or a dot on either end of the horizon line. So you can see I've put one here and one at this end. Um, the next thing you need to do is we want to draw about three lines, roughly um, one about here. And then another one here. And then another one around here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is line up our ruler on our vanishing point on the left or the right. So the one on the right is uh, going to go down to this front corner and up to that vanishing point. And then going from the one on the right up to about here. And we're going to do the same on the other side. And what I want you to do is make uh, this line come up a little bit higher. Okay. Okay, so we've just come up a slightly bit higher there. So the next thing um, we need to do is uh, we're going to add on some uh, windows. But first I'm just going to use my rubber just to remove some of the lines that I don't need anymore. The horizon line inside the shape. Try and remove that. So now we're going to, so now we're going to draw some windows, and we're going to do maybe two windows on this side, so one line, two lines. As this gets a little bit further away from us, these next lines need to be a little bit closer together. As you can see, I've got them that far apart. So this one. Okay, so now what we can do is go to our vanishing point and you can see the vanishing point running on this side does this line, so it will do these lines on the bottom of the windows. So line that up on one of the windows and then draw your line across and then do it for the top of the window as well. Okay, so we've got two windows in there. Tidy them up. Okay, so the next thing is we want to think about the peak on the top of the house. So to find the center of this shape here, I'm just going to draw a faint X through it. And so this point of the X here is the middle of the shape. So I'm going to draw a straight line going up. And I'm going to stop about there. Um, so now uh, what we want to do is bring from that peak that we've created there, we want to come down to the corners of the roof and then also go down on this side too. Um, now we want to start to think about um, maybe putting another building onto the side of this building. So I'm just going to draw a straight line here and um, I'm going to bring this out slightly. So I'm going to go back to this vanishing point, line it up on the end of this line, and just come out slightly. Um, I need to go up again, because we've got another corner of this shape. So I'm just going to go up like that. And, um, and then we're coming along here. So you can see the side of the house there runs to that vanishing point. And I do the same there. 
Um, now I want this bit that's coming out of the side of the building to be in line with that back corner. So I'm just going to bring a faint line from the vanishing point on the right. And then now I know here is where I need to go vertical and go straight up. start to use my rubber again because I need to remove some of the lines that are confusing me. You can tidy it up a bit more later. So the next thing is I want to start putting the top of this shape on. So I'm just going to bring a line across from the vanishing point on the left. Um, and then I want a slope on the top of this little sort of outbuilding. I want a sloped roof on there as well. So I'm just going to go across to that little point there that's a little bit higher up. Now from here we go to the vanishing point, across like that, and then um, going down to this point here. Okay, so that slope is the same as that slope. All right, so um, we've got our building on the side. We just need to tidy that one up. And um, I want to put a window on the side of this as well. So I'm going to do a vertical line there and there. And then for the bottom and the top, it's going to this vanishing point on the left. Now we've got a window there. Um, I want to put a door here. So, one vertical line, the next vertical line, and then the top of this door is going off to this vanishing point. It's on the other side of the shape from this bit. So, over here, we go over there, just like at the top of these windows. So, this is a nice trick. Try this now. Place your pencil on the vanishing point. Bring your ruler up against it and then bring it to where you want it for the door over here. Put the top of the door in and then just tidy it up again. Okay, next thing I want to do is just finish off this roof. Um, so at the end here, what I want to do is make the roof come out slightly from the side of the house. So I'm going to come up to about there. The top of the roof follows the same direction as these lines. So we'll go to the vanishing point. So we put our pencil on the vanishing point, bring our ruler up against it, and then take it to the peak at the top of the house. We draw a faint line down. Okay. And then finally, the next thing is to just try and get this angle over to here. So what we can do is if you've got a clear ruler, is if you can put this side of the ruler on that point and then you can see we've got a line here for the front of the peak of the house and that runs parallel to the side of the ruler the gap there is the same as the gap there so now I know they match up I can just draw that line in there and then just remove these bits Okay, so now we've got our house uh, in two-point perspective. Um, last thing to do is just to pop a chimney on the top and just to maybe uh, double up some of these lines. So a chimney, um, I'm just going to put a line here, here, and here. And then um, uh, I'm going to take my vanish point on this side to finish off that side of the chimney and then this bit is going to go over to that vanishing point. Okay, so we've got our chimney and where the lines over cross or overlap, we tidy that up and then pencil line that back in. Um, another thing to do might be to double up on the thickness of the roof 
so you might want to just double line it on that side and over on this side just maybe just slightly adjust the position of that line there just tidy that bit up so it needs a bit more work um, but hopefully you can get up to about this stage, this lesson, and then we'll start adding more details to the drawing next lesson. Good luck.